To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in HBrO4, this is per bromic acid, we'll use these rules here. First thing to note, there's no negative or positive sign after our per bromic acid. Because of that, this is considered a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. That's important. Next, for the hydrogen, it's bonded to these nonmetals here. That means it's going to have a plus one oxidation state. Bromine, we think of that as having a minus one oxidation state. It's in group 17 with the halogens, except when it's bonded to something like oxygen or fluorine. So the bromine bonded to the oxygen, we really don't know what it's going to be. So we're going to just say X. Oxygen, that's almost always minus two with a few exceptions. So we have all the different information here and we know it's going to add up to zero. So we can just set up an equation. One plus X minus two times four, we have four oxygens, that's going to equal the zero. Then you just solve for x. So x, that's minus eight plus one, so minus seven equals zero. x is going to equal a positive seven. And that's going to be the oxidation number for the Br here in HBrO4. If you multiply four times minus two, and you add that to seven and one, you'll end up with zero. It's a neutral compound. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for the elements in HBrO4 per bromic acid. Thanks for watching.